The world is as delicate and as complicated as a spider's web. And like a spider's web, if you touch one thread, you send shudders running through all the other threads that make up the web. But we're not just touching the web. We're tearing great holes in it. The unique ecosystem we have on this planet is an incredibly complex web of species, and there is no one species in it that is unimportant. So the removal of any species from our ecosystem can have devastating impacts. But species aren't going extinct at a rate of one or two a year. It's difficult to estimate, but anywhere between 200 and 100,000 species go extinct every single year. Most of them are known to science. And the impact we are having on our planet, the damage we are doing to our ecosystem, will soon start to have severe consequences for us as a species. Not just in terms of the resources that we have available to us, but do we really want to live in a world where current biodiversity is just a memory? My answer to that question is no, and that's why I'm supporting Durrell in this year's Project for Awesome. Durrell is an international conservation charity whose mission statement is to prevent species from going extinct. And they often focus on what they call little brown jobs. These aren't headline grabbing species like whales or pandas, but they are incredibly important species for their ecosystems. Durrell was named after Gerald Durrell, who was a legendary naturalist and reluctant author who changed the face of conservation by his radical idea of using zoological gardens as breeding centres for endangered species. Now, you might have heard of him through some of his books like The Stationary Ark or My Family and Other Animals, but his legacy lives on in what Durrell, the organisation, now does. Durrell's strategy of preventing species from going extinct has three components. Firstly, they run programmes in the field across the world. Secondly, they have their main site on the island of Jersey in the Channel Islands, which they use as a breeding centre for endangered species and also as a visitor centre. Thirdly, they run a conservation academy educating conservationists from all over the world to a postgraduate level. I believe that the work that Durrell does is some of the most important done by any charity in the world today. Not just in terms of preserving biodiversity for the sake of doing so, but also to preserve the continued existence and success of our own species. Durrell works in 14 countries all over the world in their field programmes, and they've realised that the key to any success, any long-term success for conservation strategy, is engaging with local communities. For example, in Madagascar, Durrell has worked with the creation of over 170 community-led organisations which manage natural resources and protect biodiversity from threats including habitat destruction, which is exactly what they're doing with species like the Aloatran gentle lemur and the plowshare tortoise. Possibly my favourite though is the orangutan project, which is run in the field in Sumatra, but also has a breeding centre on the island of Jersey. Now, on Jersey there's been a thriving population of orangutans for the past four decades, and they've had seven babies born in that time, which have been sent all over the world to boost populations of this critically endangered species. Now, the footage you just saw was shot when I went to the site on Jersey, and it's literally my favourite place in the whole world. I, I love the Durrell Park. The whole reason that it exists is so that they can build up secure populations of critically endangered species under really carefully managed conservation conditions. And this is such that if the worst happens and a species go extinct in the wild, then we have a safety net population, which, if the conditions allow, can be reintroduced into the wild. For some species, that reintroduction can happen right now, as has been happening with tamarinds. Now, these are little primates from Brazil which have been critically endangered for some time, and Daryl has been really successful in breeding them and reintroducing them into the wild and trying to boost genetic stocks. Also on the site on Daryl is the internationally acclaimed Conservation Academy, which is like a mini university for conservationists. And they've trained over 3,500 people from all over the world, from over 150 countries. And they don't just give them technical information like uh, an education and genetics, they train them to go back to their countries and to take the lead on conservation projects, to go out into the field and to share their wisdom and to create projects of their own. And they've been so successful in doing that. Durrell has 100% saved species from extinction. For example, two species, the Mauritian kestrel. At one point there are only four individuals left in the world. Durrell worked with these species intensively and now there are over 350. Another key species that they work with is the Rodriguez fruit bat, which are, is an absolutely adorable little mammal. And uh, when they first worked with it, there were 350 left in the world. And now the population is over 10,000. So Durrell's currently working with over 50 species and a sample of 17 of those have their extinction risk percentage graphed over time. And you can see that Durrell is having a definitely quantifiable impact. 
A paper released in 2010 indicated that since the 1980s, 63 species of mammals, amphibians and birds have been moved up the red list of uh, extinction risk solely due to the work of conservationists. And Durrell represents 10% of those efforts. One charity represents 10% of the global response to a global problem. This is what makes Durrell so remarkable for me. It's a small charity with a global reach. It just needs more funds to do more of the same work more broadly. So that's why I'm imploring you to support it in the Project for Awesome. Now, in addition to voting for this video and trying to get some funding for the charity, you can also contribute directly. If you go to www.durrell.org, you can check out their website. They have information on all the animals they work with, on all their conservation programs, on everything they do. And I recommend you do because it's it's incredible work. And if you like the look of what you see, then you can support them. You can become a member and donate regularly. You can adopt an animal or you can just make a one-off donation. And if you live nearby, I'd highly recommend you go to the Durrell Wildlife Park because there's really nothing like it. I think the work that Durrell does is so important because I don't want to have to live in a world where in years to come, I have to tell my grandchildren that while I ran around forests that were full of life and I got to play in ponds with toads and frogs and I saw the sky full of songbirds. They don't get to see that because I saw a problem I didn't do anything about it because globally we knew what was happening and we did nothing. I do not want to have to say that to my grandchildren. This is one of the most important issues in the world today and it is not getting enough attention and it is certainly not getting enough funding. So please, Please do support the work that Durrell is doing, whether that's in the Project for Awesome or more broadly. My hopes for the work that Durrell does are summarised pretty neatly in a message that was left in a time capsule on the site in Jersey by Gerald Durrell himself. I, I think I should just read that to you. We hope that there will be fireflies and glowworms at night to guide you, and butterflies in hedges and forests to greet you. We hope that your dawns will have an orchestra of birdsong and that the sound of their wings and the opalescence of their colouring will dazzle you. We hope that there will still be the extraordinary varieties of creatures sharing the land of the planet with you to enchant you and enrich your lives as they have done for us. We hope that you will be grateful for having been born into such a magical world.